on. You were like, oh yeah, we're in a relationship and now we're going to kiss each other where we we. Like, so one of the things I'm autistic, I don't like making eye contact. I think it's weird. It's, just, it's weird that you people do that. I'm Susie Ruffle and I want you to know I'm great at dating. Just ask anyone, except for any of my exes. And if you're looking for dating tips, the Comedy Guide to Life is here to help. If you want my advice, be spontaneous, be wild, be reckless. Sorry, um, excuse me, is it, is it my job to pick these up? I'm excited for this. It's the brilliant Erica Ela. I recently got broken up with, I was dating a uh, vegan environmentalist. Yep. Yeah, it's a white guy in case you had any shed of doubt there. <laughs> um, yeah, he didn't have uh, white dreads. I'm still out there waiting for like the final boss. Um, <laughs> No, but uh, I don't know. What's like? Uh, what's the most vindictive thing you've done to someone who's broken up with you? Wrote a show about them. Wrote a show about them. That's epic. <laughs> um, an answer I get a lot, oftentimes, is uh, I banged all their friends. But because I was dating like a vegan environmentalist, I get to be like a little bit more creative than that. Uh, like to get back at him, I'm gonna rent an SUV, leave that shit running on for a week. <laughs> I'm gonna, you know, eat 12 hamburgers a day, uh, and then I'm gonna use palm oil to lube up all his friends' dicks. Uh, we got in a, another fight one time about uh, lab-grown meat. He was like, Erica, would you try lab-grown meat? And I, I thought the question was a bit redundant because uh, he was a test tube baby. <laughs> Yeah. I've already tried lab grown pee. Thank you. <laughs> First dates are always tricky, so here's a word of warning from Joe Sutherland of how not to behave. I've got some tips for you, okay, for dealing with a first date because I met my boyfriend the old-fashioned way in prison. Uh, no, 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 I, no. Honestly, we met because we had a mutual app. And... So we went on a first date, and first date's big thing. But I did the worst thing that anyone can do on a first date, okay? I tried to impress him. Don't do that. Don't do that. You know why? Because you end up lying. Everybody lies on a first date, and that's what I did. The whole first date full of lies. Nothing huge or unbelievable, like, oh, I've been to the moon, or I have a pension, you know? <laughs> It was, all, it was just the little lies that you tell on a date, you know, like, oh, I love to read the news and I've never kicked a dog. <laughs> just, um, just, just the little ones to try and look like a good person. And that's fine for a night, you know, but then you can get trapped in the lie. Guys, we've been together six years. It's too late to tell him the truth now, okay? I can't tell him that I don't speak French. <laughs> I don't like trying new things. I don't like long walks on the beach because if I'm quite honest, I don't like going outside. <laughs> Six years is too late to peel off these layers, so I'm, ver I'm very worried about this because I'm still pretending. I'm still pretending to be interested in the same things as him, you know, like going to museums or reading a book. Oh, and honestly, you know, I, I, and I can read, okay? <laughs> I can read, but you know, like most millennials, I find books very triggering of boredom. Now we have the brilliant Sook Ojla. Dating when you're of the Asian persuasion is pretty difficult, I'm not gonna lie, okay? Because normally, most people, non-Asian people, just go on a date with someone, you get on, you're like, oh yeah, we're in a relationship, and now we're gonna kiss each other where we wee. <laughs> pretty simple. <laughs> <laughs> not in my case no because no, no. I you know when you go on a date you want to be in the moment right you want to relax you want to enjoy you want to see how you feel about that person you definitely don't want to be overthinking but as an anxious person the only type of thinking I know how to do is overthinking so whereas my date can just sit there and have a nice time and go yeah you know she's nice you know, maybe, you know nice tits you know maybe <laughs> wonder how much she makes from comedy. <laughs> I'm sitting there going, oh my God, oh, 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 is he going to get on with my cousins? Is he going to be able to eat any of the food at our wedding reception? 
what is he going to look like in a turban? <laughs> this is a genuine concern if you date a white man, okay? Because Indian men in turbans, masculine, regal, confident. White men, Professor Quirrell. <laughs> The next comedian I did my first ever Edinburgh with. He's absolutely brilliant. You're going to love him. It's Joe Wells. Hello. Thank you. My name is Joe. I'm an autistic man, properly diagnosed and everything. So if you heckle me, then technically that is a hate crime. Just be aware of that. So. In the kind of relationships, I find that um, I try to not pretend I'm not autistic, if that makes sense. So... I like, so one of the things I'm autistic, I don't like making eye contact. I think it's weird. It's, it's weird that you people do that. Think about what eye contact is. We've all got two balls of jelly that we carry inside of our skulls. And we walk around carrying our jelly balls and sucking in light into our jelly balls. And when you want to be polite to someone, you're supposed to point your jelly balls towards their jelly balls and then suck all the light off of their jelly balls. They want to be polite back because they point their jelly balls back at your jelly balls, suck on your jelly balls whilst you're sucking on their jelly balls and some mutual jelly ball sucking. <laughs> I find that weirdly intimate when you've just met someone to immediately suck on their jelly balls. I'm sorry. Sorry if I'm the one with the problem. I, I used to get in trouble at school. I had a science teacher who used to say to me, Joe, you have to make eye contact with me, otherwise I don't know that you're listening to me. I think, what kind of biology teacher are you who thinks that people listen out of their eyes? <laughs> but there I am, I'm pretending to like all of these grown-up things, like sharing a bottle of wine. And, you know, you come back from the bar like, oh my God, did you want some? <laughs> I only asked for one straw. So this is it. I'm, I'm still pretending in all these ways and it's just too late. It's just too late. Books, oh, books, so boring. Honestly, you may as well call them museums for your eyes. I just... And I get it. Some of you are looking at me thinking, like, mm, Joe, I think museums are museums for your eyes. No, I'm going to step into my authentic self and tell you museums are just books for your legs. <laughs> Honestly, I think my real problem is I need to stop dating white guys. But I think the reason I do it is because I'm mixed race and I just want to finish what my mom started. <laughs> you know? Just like bang the immigrant out of me. <laughs> um, yeah. No, sometimes... Uh, I'm, I'm half Asian, but sometimes I, I wish I was fully Asian just so I could be a white man's consolation prize. Truly. Yeah. Okay, relax. My mom was one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think they should have nicknamed my mom's pussy Cambridge just based on the amount of white men that have been accepted in there. 